Hello, and welcome to this tutorial on how to synchronize your windmill workspace with a Git repository. Okay, so from this workspace, for the example, we'll create a new script and just make it return hello CLI. Because in a further step, we'll use this windmill CLI to import the workspace to a Git repository. Let's go to the terminal and add this workspace to the WML command line interface with command windmill add name of the workspace and URL. OK, we want to authorize it, and now the workspace has been added to the CLI. As we can see here. OK, let's try if it works by running this script on this terminal, and it works indeed. OK. So let's go to a proper directory and pull our whole windmill workspace locally. So let's check if it has indeed been pulled. And it was. We can see that the script is here locally. Okay, so now let's create a repository on GitHub. So let's do it from scratch. I have no repository. I will create a new private one, call it git sync demo and create it. OK, so we'll use the suggested commands and push our local repository to GitHub. And let's refresh to try and it works. Perfect, we have our script. Okay, so now in the workspace settings, we'll go to the Git Sync tab, and we see that we need a Git repository resource. A resource is a rich object in JSON, and this one is made of three arguments. One is mandatory, it's the URL to connect to the Git repository. So we need the username, the repo name, and a token. So let's fill the first two ones. OK, so the token is done in GitHub settings, in settings and then developer settings. We create a fine grain token. Let's call it Git Sync for the example, only for this repository. And for the permissions, we only need one read and write for content. Metadata is in read only automatically. OK, let's generate that token and copy paste it to our windmill git repository resource. OK, we can save it and it was indeed added. Let's test if it works and it does. OK, so now let's create a folder because only scripts, apps, and flows in folders will be pushed to the git repository not the ones in private user folders. So we created one with all the users in it, and we called it developers example. So we created a new Python script saved in this folder. And let's check if our Git repository saved it and it did. And we can see it in the Python script and the YAML with all the credentials. You can see the run that allowed to push it to our Git repository.